I think I've decided what I'm going to do as far as making videos that people want to watch. Let's try this auditing stuff. I am currently at a Welch truck stop. I will post the location of it later once I look it up. Actually, I can just look it up right here, can I? Home point. I think we are off Woodburn and uh, US 41 in Indiana. Town of Woodburn. At any rate, so I got in here at about. Oh, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning, there was no truck parking available. There's truck parking, but none was available. Every spot was taken, and they were even doubled up on, on the outside of the spots, like that like, like that gentleman right there. Um, so I found a safe, safe place to park that was not a spot. There was a safe place to park. There was no sign stating that I couldn't park there. Still aren't. And... Um, they decided that it'd be a wise decision that after less than five hours of sleep, they're going to wake me up and and ask me to tell me to move with threat of towing my vehicle. Um, many drivers have to go through this on a daily basis. Many drivers uh, weekly, at, at the very least, unless they got a terminal where they park out regularly. Every single driver has to deal with this regularly, where there's one stop or another that doesn't want you parked outside of their parameters. They don't have a sign posted. But you have no idea what the parameter is. Or even if they do, it's not legal for them to tell you you can't park that the way you're parked. It's private property, so they can say whatever they want. But uh, on clip, police can't do nothing about it because it's private property. Most you can get a trespassing charge. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start flexing our rights. Take off. Home point updated. Okay, as you can see, plenty of plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. This is actually one of the larger Love's truck stops as far as parking goes. Most of them have maybe two rows tops, sometimes three. Sometimes they'll have one row of parking right there across from the fuel island. One there and then and then just two rows like that along that line on your way out but as you can see they got ample parking but they just happen to be full I'm just outside of um, not Indianapolis um, oh, well, let me check the map here just outside of see that's how tired I am I, I still haven't even fully woken up yet just outside of Fort Wayne Indiana I knew where I was when I went to sleep but you know you can see where that truck is going out right there that location where, the, where that truck is sitting is exactly where I was parked. What they told me, and I, and I was up, the, up against the curve, all the way up against the curve, I was told the trucks cannot get in and out with me parked there. Well, I think on the video that I recorded earlier with the cell phone, you could see the trucks were getting by. Oh, no, that's right, you couldn't because his, his four-wheeler was parked right there. X marks the spot right there where his four-wheeler was parked. My truck was parked there up against the curb and drivers were just, they just didn't want to deal with it. They were going out this exit over here. So again, wasn't blocking the lot. In no way, shape, or form. Trucks were easy. It was easy for trucks to get in and out. Where, where I was, you can see there's room for three or four trucks right there where that tank is going out from. There is no way that I was blocking the lot. And I'm going to bring the bird around over here so that way you can see. That's me walking across the lot right there. Let's bring him down. And you'll see that there are no, there aren't any no parking signs at all. None whatsoever. The curve's not even red or yellow or anything. No indication that they don't want you parked here. None whatsoever. You tried saying, well, there's a stop sign there. Well, guess what, sir? That stop sign's on private property. 
So it's not it's not illegal for me to be parked here. If you didn't want me parked here, you should have signs up. Now, if you go out here on the road, there are no parking signs everywhere out here. Everywhere. Got no parking there. There's one that's ran over, but you can tell it doesn't take a fool to figure out that that was a no parking sign over there. There's another one down there. Look, there's one over there. No parking signs everywhere. Come down here. Say you're coming in from the other way. You're worried, oh, maybe I could just park right here. It looks like the lot's full. Well, Somebody, I'm, I'm not going to say it was city or county or whatever, but somebody was kind enough to put up a no parking sign here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they put it up, that it was not county that put it up. Yep, so, see this RTI guy coming out right here. Got no problem getting out. I tried to get some footage of trucks getting in and out while I was still parked there, but they didn't want it. They 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 they, they were pretty uh, authoritative about me moving and not moving. This <laughs> is the guy in a lawnmower. I don't think he sees the drone, but I got it out of the way just in case it worried him. I'll put that on camera since I, since I know you can hear it. <laughs> Why does that remind me of Beavis and Butthead all grown up? Anyways. So yeah. Yeah, there's, there's uh, no reason that I had to move. No other, other than they, they just... They just didn't want somebody not parked in a parking space. I don't, I don't understand the, the reasoning behind that. This is a shop here. They made sure that uh, they woke me up. They're rather, rather persistent. They were knocking on both doors and both windows. It was like I was inside a, a, a vehicle that was being attacked by zombies or something. So yeah. Woodburn, Indiana. Loves, I think you get a fail on that one. We'll see what happens. And that's, don't get me wrong, there's other forms of failing. There's there's when they let them stack up. I've been in those truck stops where they have they have trucks stacked three or four deep from the curb and there's no way to get in and out. They just don't know how to deal with the drivers or the, or the drivers. I don't, I don't know what the reasoning is, but at any rate. Yeah, so I guess, I guess in this adventure we'll discover it. And maybe help open some people's eyes. I'm, I'm, the company might fire me for this, but I am going to push this as much as possible. So there you go. I mean, look. You get by just fine. Landing. I see it. Okay, I'm at a Love's truck stop and they're pounding on my door because they want me to move the truck and uh, we're going to see exactly what this guy has to say. Can I help you with something? Yes, sir, you sure can. 
So you're blocking my entrance. You can't park here. Um, I do believe that several trucks have come by here since no. I've been parked here. Sir, you can't. There are no parking signs here, sir. Sir, you cannot. So I got your cuff on the phone. You want to talk to them? Because you're blocking my I entrance. I don't need to be talking to my... I'm not blocking your entrance, sir. You are blocking my entrance. I will be you're taking aerial me. photography of this area with my sir, drone to prove that I'm not blocking sir, this entrance. Several park. trucks have come in and out of here. You cannot park here. Several trucks have come in. There are no signs here, and the so, and the curbs are not the curbs are not painted. I am still on break. You need to call a state trooper in order to get me to move. You have no parking showing that I'm not supposed to be parked here. Everywhere else along this street, there's no parking signs. Everywhere else inside the property, there's no parking signs for areas where you want me to park and don't want me to park. This is going on social media. You are going to be YouTube famous. Okay, good. I hope so. I hope you like that. I'll be flying my drone over the area showing that where, where trucks can park and where trucks can't park. And you park where trucks can't park. Yeah, well, you know what? You need to start. You need to you need to post sir, that. It's a stop sign right there next to you. You need to post that. I don't need to post this. It's a stop yeah, you sign do. right there, sir. So it doesn't matter. So what does that mean? Yes, sir. Daisy's giving you a call to be talking. Yeah, she's calling me right now. Yeah. I'll answer. I'll answer as soon as I get a chance to. So I, I will answer it now, so you can move. Yeah, he's been blocking the entrance for several hours, so I just had a chance to get down here. Daisy, give me a minute. Okay, so yeah, they um, they want me to move my company. My company also wants me to move. They're worried about their being police called and the company looking bad. I don't see how. I'm going to uh, get a truck here and. Uh... Okay. Um, as you can see, it's not the uh, the cleanliest. I have a reaction when I go in and use the bathroom at the shop. The bathroom is, the shop's closer to where I'm parked than it is way over there, the main building. So, you know. Well, they got the door propped open. Have the AC problem in here, huh? Something like that. Yeah. How you doing today? Oh, I'm here. That was the cleanest. Some of that could be put on the drivers who don't clean up after themselves. Alright. You know, earlier I said, uh, just a second ago, that uh, some of this could be put on the driver. Some of this mess in here, but uh, we do have this guy just sitting out here on the counter, basically just holding up the counter. So there's really no excuse for the bathroom in the condition that it's in. spot where I was parked where they said you know, nobody can get by you. I don't know. I think even the dumbest rookie can get by anybody there parked along that curb. There's that. We'll go inside here in a minute. I'm going to grab my soda. I need a refill. And my wallet. Shut this off for right now. Alright. Walk inside, see what kind of restaurant they got here. I didn't see that. It's McDonald's. Check the condition of it. I think it's gonna get, if, I, if, 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 if this turns out something I'm, I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna get a GoPro or something I can wear. Maybe, maybe those, uh, yeah. I'll get those glasses that have the camera built into them. 
one of the auditors that are, that, that I've seen uses them. I think it was DJ DJ Media. We got we got courtesy courteous drivers here. Something about holding the camera up though kind of makes people act different. It's a point that I, I think he took off of an auditor he called AB, um, Auditing Britain. You know, it's midday. See more midday. They are relatively busy. Stop selling Pokemon cards. Wonder why. Not bad. I mean, came way, way, way worse. Full house. I apologize, I'm probably gonna do my best to hug that out. That reminds me of a salad in the truck I wanna finish. get these major names in here like McDonald's and Wendy's and stuff like that. They're usually really good about keeping their restaurants up. So, uh, yeah, let's see. A little bit of spill talk from the previous customer. Lid, but McGlade been there very long. Oh. <laughs> I'm not interested in fast food right now. Let's see. The ways are usually really good. I'm keeping the cell clean this one, maybe not so much. shop has little to be desired. It is relatively safe looking, but um, they probably could have cleaned up that bathroom a little bit considering they're just standing around. We got two, two people in there in that office standing around doing nothing. Um, bathroom in there is fine. Restaurant's fine. The area where you get your soda, the concession area, I guess you'd call it, that, that's fine. Um, the shelves behind me they're all they're all in order they're just up, up, up in, um, in shambles or just just disarray um, everything looks good oh, 
just that that whole them making sure that every every truck is in a parking space when it's not unsafe where I was parked nor um, illegal where I was parked. So there's that to take into consideration. These, these are the problems that we face on a daily basis out here. Been doing this 23 years. Trust me, it happens all the time. See ya. Green quarters on. Yep, looks good. I am getting ready to leave from this truck stop. I'm gonna put the bird up for one more flight, as I think you can tell. Um, so I haven't done the, the, the traditional auditor thing where they look in dumpsters and, and, and service area. Home so point updated. Stuff that you can't see from ground level. So we're, we're going to go up and uh, look behind some fences. Take off. Home point updated. I do believe that the garbage area was over there. Get up high enough so that way I'm not distracting any drivers. Walking on it, it's walking sideways. Let me even calibrate this controller. Looks like they got basically everything's covered up. Oh, well, we do got some stuff down in there, huh? This is the bins that they roll around to empty out the garbage cans that are around the um, around the truck stop. That's not bad. Actually, uh, go to they got the, the pallets somewhat organized. I guess best they can. There's a really long one there. Probably should stack them. Might be easier to move that way. I don't know. I don't, doesn't look like they have a pallet jack out here anywhere. We got, uh, Like they're in the middle of pressure washing this here, this area. Take like some shelving from inside the store. Real bad. There's one of the guys here. That's not too bad. Looks like it's been around. Like it, it, it was something else before. Hey, look, it's Bumblebee. Something else before it was a Loves. I mean, it didn't redo a lot. So the tanker comes into fuel. Drop fuel. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, they're camping. Shady truck stop deal going on there. No, I don't know. They're just, they're just camping. It's an old couple. That's their camper. Camper. <laughs> okay. Trailer for storage here. Hey, I don't think, I don't think that trailer's supposed to be parked right there.
gonna bring him down. Landing. Good job. I think I discovered why it gets moody every time I, besides the fact that I train him to bark at me when I get in the truck. I stopped on the way in for the first time, last time I got in before this one, and um, gave him a hug, and he just got right out of the way without barking. So he just wants attention, or wants maybe he's mad because he's trying to give me some love.